Hi and welcome to the Google Calendar part of your website. You are probably having lots of fun creating this website now and this next page will be really great to be able to communicate with your students and their parents. This is a great way for students who miss class to know what was covered in the classroom. So what we're going to do next is create the Google Calendar page. So the first place we want to start is our Gmail space. And we want to come over to the right hand side where the Google um, Apps page is found. When you click on that, you will see Google Calendar. Go ahead and click on Google Calendar and it will open this page here. We are going to add a new calendar to this page. You will not have as many calendars as I do and so you will um, probably just show your name or whatever email address you're using. We are going to add in a second calendar. Although Google makes you believe that you can make your personal calendar public, you cannot and it will give me an error message when you turn in the assignment. So you will need to create a second calendar. The way we do that is by clicking the little button or arrow on the right hand side of my calendars and create new calendar. I am going to label my calendar classroom calendar and I want to make sure that I make this calendar public. This is the most common student error here is forgetting to make the calendar public. The next thing I want to do is click, click create calendar. It will give me a warning message and yes, I'm sure I want to make it public. Now I can click anywhere on my calendar and type in an event. So I'm going to give an exam on the 4th. I want to make sure that it's on the classroom calendar and I will create the event. Now I want this calendar to stand out and so I'm going to change the color to purple just for my own um, ease on my eyes. It doesn't matter what color it is. I like to make it a pretty obvious color so that I know I'm on the correct calendar. It is possible to create an event, have it on the wrong calendar and not realize it. And so I want to make sure that I have it on the right calendar. So my classroom calendar is purple and this event is purple. The next thing you want to do is open up your classroom website. And I'm going to use my test site to show you how to insert the Google Calendar. The first thing you want to do is click on edit and it opens up the editing screen. Next we want to insert a calendar and I want to make sure that it is the classroom calendar that I am inserting and click select. I can also display another calendar if I would like to add multiple calendars in and hit select. I'm not going to choose to do that. You want to make sure that the width is set to blank and not zero. I don't like a title on my classroom calendar so I'm deselecting that. I can view it by week, month, or agenda and I'm going to choose the time zone which we are on Mountain Standard Time in Denver. I click Save. I have an ugly gray box. Remember that that means I need to click Save again. Now my calendar shows up and you can see the exam item and that is how you create a classroom calendar. Have fun with the creation of the rest of your calendar.